Tickets, are you ready? Are you sure? For music trivia, three rounds in store. It's head to head, who's going to war? Are you ready to settle the score? I said, are you ready to settle the score? Hey, welcome in to another week. Settle the score. I'm your host, Matt Nos, joined by the musical director, Mr. Andy Merriweather. Sir, how are you this day after the Euro final? Uh, my heart is broken, but uh, I'm. Uh, it's a tough one. I, I feel sadder because of the state my country has gotten into. They're not very good losers, apparently, and um, all the bad people have uh, um, taken over uh, social media and everything, and hopefully... Um, no one like that watches our show because I, I they wouldn't be welcome in my book. Um, quite disgusting. I'm I'm not very happy with my country. It's not usually the tone that I set off with, but it's, it's uh, fine. yeah, it's been been one of those days. Um, yeah, it's been hard hard to see. Um, we're certainly not the uh, the polite tea drinking nation that we uh, have the reputation <laughs> for. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, portrayed as on yeah. uh, in movies and in television and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. According to movies and TV, you guys are all very posh and refined. So yeah, it feel, yeah, it feels like the the church scene from um, Kingsman, like is just right outside my door, like that whole <laughs> mess. <laughs> That's a good feeling. Yeah. Uh, well, listen, uh, you know, emotions ran high. Plus, you're hosting it, which adds a little bit more, I think, to the fervency because it's just right there and everything's happening, and then you have a shot at winning it. So. You know, yeah, add I mean, that to the mix. Yeah, I think uh, we we should be put on the naughty step now and not not be allowed to host for a little while. I don't think it was a good uh, good image. So we'll see. But if, well done to Italy. Any Italian fans we have, well done. You guys played a good game. It was a great final. Came down to the last kick of a penalty shootout. Yeah. So yeah, couldn't have asked for a tighter game. So um, yeah, I'm I'm happy for them. Yeah, huge dramatic finish to a tournament that's been uh, excellent by and large. Yeah. Uh, exactly. So, it's all right. Better luck next time. Next time, the World, World Cup, Cup isn't yeah. far around or far around yeah. the bend. So, yeah. Shot at redemption coming. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but there you go. And yeah. uh, you know, London, get your shit together. What is yeah. this? But anyway, that's not what we're here to do today. No. no. Um, before we bring our two guests in, we do have our fan show coming up next week, and the yep. drawing is going to be the day after you. A listen or watch this on Friday. So uh, if you want to add your name into the hopper one last time, you can do it one of two ways. You can retweet and like the tweet that I put out, or you can leave us a comment over at youtube.com forward slash Matt Knows. We will be drawing two random people from all of those. So if you've left a comment every week, well, then your name, since the last show, the last fan show, then your name gets added in whatever that is, eight, nine times. Or if you've retweeted every week, the same thing. Or if you do both, now you have... How many ever double the opportunities, but uh, the more you do it, the more chances you have. And we just draw two names at random and uh, we'll be reaching out to you via uh, Twitter and YouTube itself and uh, set you up with the email link to uh, email us. And so we can get a little uh, time confirmation and get you on the show. But we are yep. looking forward to that. And that once again is next week. And we'll be doing the drawing the day after you hear this Friday, uh, July 16th. So please join us on that and uh i think that's it are you ready to bring on today's guests yeah i think probably the the two coolest uh contestants we've had potentially one of them is so cool that he's drinking a gallon of ice chips by the looks of it so <laughs> i think i think you're underselling that gallon <laughs> <laughs> i think doomsday preppers are now staring at that cup going yeah mm, I, 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 there are ladies in labor with less ice chips than <laughs> yeah. this guy. think about it uh, you could store liquid in there and then you could also uh piss into it put it in the corner it's got a dual use uh it's, <laughs> the thing is ridiculous we will bring him in first uh Coming in uh, today, all the way from Phoenix, Arizona, supporting his squad in their championship run. It's a lot of sports on today. Uh, the one and only Mr. Andres Cabrera. What's going on, buddy? You were on. I think you're on mute. Did you mute yourself? I can't hear you. Hmm. No, we lost them. We lost them. Uh, we can see you just fine. Can't hear you. I have no idea what happened between two seconds ago and right now. 
Yeah, drop out and come back in. Or yeah, shake your ahead. shake your ice. Let's see. We can we hear the ice? <laughs> <laughs> uh, just go ahead and exit out of the link, and then come back in, and I'll, we'll bring in your competitor, uh, the one and only Lakers fan extraordinaire. Got bounced by Aces uh, Phoenix Suns, a fluke year by Lakers standards. The one and only Mr. Alexander Marzonia. Mr. Marzonia, how are you? Hello, is my audio working? Can you, you guys hear me? Oh, nice. yes. See, LA fans, that's what happens. <laughs> Our audio works <laughs> perfectly. I think it's yeah. only Arizona's, only, uh, Phoenix fans. That uh, it could be the sun just with. being six inches from all of them, you know, messes with Wi Fi. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little too hot there too. for me. Ace was saying that he's going to go to the parade if they win, which they probably will. I think they will. But I, I, I wonder if they'll do that indoors because, like, <laughs> It's going to be like mid late July if they have the parade. <laughs> yes. It's going to be oh man. Incredibly hot. <laughs> uh yeah, I would not want to suffer through that one, but you do it for your team. Exactly, exactly. God I would do love it for it. LA. I would do it for the Lakers. All right, let's try this again. Ace, how are you? Can't hear a damn thing. <laughs> it was That's literally crazy. working not 2 seconds ago. No idea. Let's just keep him on the screen. Maybe he can figure out as he's going. Yeah. Um, I like me, the double me... branding behind you, Alex. Oh, you ready for this? You ready for this? Oh, you got a third? Got even more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I, I, Alex, let me add to this Lost a second. Hold on, hold on. Um... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Andy, you make me happy. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, I love Is that, that one of that, the uh, OG Marzonias? Oh. That's the test, right? test drive by me from that album, Lift Off, which you can check out on Spotify. Yeah, yeah. Go check it out. Check one, two. There hey! Go. Hey! Nice, nice. What happened, man? <laughs> no idea. It's all on your end. My bad, y'all. I'm so sorry. Uh, that's all right. Good to see you. Good to see you guys. Um, we've we've it, talked. It, really, it was a really good way of deflecting all that ice ribbing that he got as he <laughs> <Yeah>. came in <laughs> everyone yeah. forgot about it so I, I put mute real quick because i didn't want to make noise as i was grabbing something and then i don't know if maybe i clicked the wrong button so maybe that was it so my yeah. bad y'all it's all right look all's well that ends well so your audio is working just fine we got everybody's it. video uh looks good and uh you know everybody's in good spirits good health what else can you ask for in this life Hey, man, I'm going up against a uh, musician, Alex, actual <laughs> songwriter. Damn. <laughs> this is going to be tough, man. It's going to be tough. Who has coiled we'll cables see. hanging on his wall, you know, just yeah, throw a yeah. little intimidation your way. Yeah. <laughs> and who watches movies like a year and a half in advance in test uh, screenings. I don't know how you do it, Alex. <laughs> do I do I say that I work for a entertainment company? Nope. Yeah. But I get into them anyway. <laughs> Oh, that so you're scamming your way in, Alex? I never would have yeah. guessed. I <laughs> never would have guessed. Give them a fake Twitter address, and they're and I'm chilling. <laughs> they never check that shit. <laughs> so you just make one. Do you have like a go-to? Oh yeah, I'm at so and so. I just put a name and then a few numbers. That's literally all I do. And they just take it. They take it. Yeah. Wow. Good for you. It we works. might have to might have to steal your playbook and join you on one of these. Mm -hmm. Come with me. All right, I'm Mars Dog, so I'm just gonna go ahead and bite <laughs> on your your name. I'm Mars Dog three one seven. Ooh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Thank Love you. It. Thank you. Uh, I worked hard on that. <laughs> Can't tell. <laughs> uh, all right, fellas, are you ready to play today's game? Let's ready. do it. All right. The way this first round works is, Alex, you'll have choice one through five. It's a random choice but the choice is yours the questions are worth 10 points a piece um you are guessing the movie not the song title itself so don't sweat that what will happen is i give a clue andy will start playing and then as soon as you think you know what movie that's from buzz in with your name and just i'll call on you tell me the movie uh that you think it is and then after that there is a bonus question worth five points but we'll get to the rules of the bonus question when we uh come across it so mr marzonia you have choice one through five, where would you like to start today's game? Let's go with number four. Let's number 
Four it is. All right. Opening clue. Once again, I will give a clue. Andy will start playing. And if you think you have it, buzz in with your name. I'll call on you and you can guess the movie. Your first clue is what happens in Vegas? What happens in Vegas? I said the Joker was a wanted man. He makes his way all across the land. I see him sifting through the sand. So I tell you a story about the Joker and thief in the night. I'll give you a He's second always clue. Yeah, Tiger King. Tiger King. The Hangover. That is correct for ten points. Yes. So I. I was going to guess that the whole time, and I held out. <laughs> <laughs> now I know just to go with my gut. All right. Go, go in. Just go, go in. Yeah. I was um, literally going to be like the hangover, and I was like, damn it. All right. All right. Well, that's all right. In this first round, basically, you know, we don't, you, you get more than one guess, technically speaking. You just okay. got to wait for the other person to venture a guess, and then we'll open it up if neither of you uh, gets it. Uh, that is the only round that, that we're kind of lenient on that. Uh, all right, bonus question time. Alex, you have a choice. You can choose to answer this alone. It is worth five points. But if you get it wrong, you lose five points. Otherwise, you can open it up to both you and Ace. No one will lose any points. But obviously, if Ace gets it right, he will cut into your 10 to nothing lead. So my question to you, Alex, is do you want to be a dick or not? Mm, I'm not feeling dickish just yet. So let's let's open it up. Let's open it up. Perfect. And some of these, as a heads up, are easy, and some of them are hard. So sometimes being a dick bites you in the ass. This time, we shall see, but it is open to both of you. So buzz in with your name again. Your bonus question is this. What Mean Girls star was offered the role of Jade in The Hangover, but turned it down, and that part ultimately went to Heather Graham? Hmm. What Mean Girls star was offered the role of Jade, but turned it down. Part ultimately went to Heather Graham. It's open to both of you, so you can't lose any points if you want to guess. Ace. Oh, Ace. Yes. Amanda Seyfried. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. Ooh, good. I was going to guess that. Let's go, Alex. Let's go with uh, Rich McAdams. That is also incorrect. It was Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay yeah. Lohan. I can't even guess. imagine it. Was that after her, after the, after everything, 2009? I think so. I think so. <laughs> I feel like she was still in her prime, right? In and the like, prime? She Could was like in the prime. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but that prime was pretty slim. So it I was. Know. It was like three years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was, uh, <laughs> Two, three years. Uh, before she went off to, you know, the Mediterranean <laughs> to party it up and enjoy her life. Um, all right. Well, nobody gets the bonus question on that, but Alex, you have a 10 to nothing lead right now and you also maintain choice. So one, two, three, or five, where are we going next? Let's go with five. All right. Number, Number five. It is your clue is Pratt Falls. Pratt Falls. I can't stop this feeling deep inside of me. Alex. Alex. Guardians of the Galaxy. That is correct for 10 oh, points. No. <laughs> That's like one of my favorite movies. It took me <laughs> too long. Ah. It's all right. There's plenty of time. Okay. Ace, there's Perfect. plenty of time. Okay. Uh, all right, Alex, bonus question time. Do you want to be a dick or not? Mm. Let's go. Let's 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 be a dick. Let's be a dick. All right. Let's do it. If I you, got a somewhat comfortable lead. If you <coughs> get this wrong, you will lose five points. I'll lose. Okay. You are okay. up twenty to nothing right now. So the bonus question only for Alex is this: Benicio del Toro plays the collector in Guardians, and he had an uncredited cameo in what MCU movie to set the stage for his appearance in Guardians? That would be Thor the Dark World. That is correct for five points. Nice job. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, all right, Alex, you still have control. One, two, or three. What are we doing next? Let's do two. Let's get in the all middle right. there. Let's do some two. Two it is. Your context clue is super grad. Super grad. Picture this, I'm a bag of dicks, put me to your lips, I am sick, I will punch a baby bear in his shit, give me lip, I'ma send you to the yard, get a stick, make a switch, I can end the conversation real quick. It's good. It's good. Uh, I am crack, I ain't lying, kick a line. Alex. Alex. Crack. Alex. I want the song to go on forever, just because you <laughs> hear Andy rap this. I love it. But man. I'm going to go with Book Smart. That is correct for 10 oh, points. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my girl, That's Kaylin like your Deaver. movie, though, right? I yeah. was going to say. Kalen Deaver is my biggest crush. Okay. Right. Watch it every year. Let's go. Um, all right. Bonus question time, Alex. Do you want to be a dick or not? Sure. Well, I mean, uh, I won't tell you what to do. <laughs> I won't be a dick. I won't be a dick this time. I, already I was going to say it's book smart. You're probably going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, once again, some of these are easy, some of these are hard. So here's the okay. bonus question open to both of you. Buzz in with your name. Who directed Booksmart? Ace. Ace. Jeez. Olivia Wilde. That's wow. correct for five points. Oh. <laughs> five points, man. Let's go. Hey, you're on the board. And the best was watching Ace. Alex's brain completely <laughs> fail him. Yeah. I have an FCL like match Caitlin, this week. Caitlin, what? Yeah. yeah. Uh, all oh, right. Boy. Ace, congratulations. You are on the board. Alex, though, you got the last music question right, which means you still have control of choosing what we do next. It is one or three. What would you like? Let's go with a three. Three Six. it is. Your clue is H2 double O. H2 double O. Ace. Ace. Skyfall? That is incorrect. No. Ah, it's All right. <clears throat> if Alex guesses it wrong, I'll let the, we'll open it back up. Uh, it is Quantum of Solace. That nice. is correct for 10 oh, points. Nice job, Marzoni. <laughs> I knew it was Bond. Oh, yeah. damn it. Jack White and Alicia Keys. That was yes, like you're right. on repeat in uh, yeah. high school. Hell yeah. I love that song. I actually love that song. <laughs> yeah. It's better than the movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> it is. That movie is so boring. So boring. It's got like a 30 minute car scene, and I could care less. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to say, is H2 double O the amount of ounces in that cup, Ace? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I still have it around here. Oh, well, I like that you you can't you don't notice the gallon the fifty five gallon drum next to you. It's around here somewhere. Really? Yeah. It's blotting well, up. It's because I have like I have like actual like gallons of water. That I <laughs> Dear God, what's going on in Arizona? <laughs> it's appropriate hydration. That's what it yes. is. Yeah. I, maybe you should uh, get the family to move then, because yeah. that doesn't sound healthy. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right, Alex, once again, bonus question choice is yours. Do you want to be a dick or not? I'll, I'll open this one up. I'll open uh, this one up. Not to all be right. This movie. It is open to both of you. Just buzz in with your name. Here's the bonus question. This West World actor was the first to play the same character of CI agent Felix Leiter in consecutive movies. This West World actor. Alex. Alex. Jeffrey Wright. Oh, that is correct for five points. Yes. I was going to say Bernard, which is the Westworld yeah. name. <laughs> yeah. God. Mm. I was okay. like, what is his name? Uh, all right. Yeah. The Watcher. Yeah. Um, all right. So there's one question left in this opening round. Good luck to you both. Um, All right, so Andy on C, go ahead and deliver that one. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, there, there's no trick to it. Okay, uh, your context clue is cotton weary. Cotton 
weary. Oh, Ace. Ace. Get out. That is correct for 10 Ooh. points. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. nice. That's my movie. There we go. <laughs> There you go. Um, That's your book smart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Two one ends to one. of the spectrum one to one here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> to get out. Uh, That's my movie of the decade. Was so. it really? Yeah. Uh, um, all right. So, Ace, bonus question time. Do you want to be a dick or not? Ooh. You're down I mean, 15 to 50 right now. That's true. But Alex has been nothing but non dickish to me. He was uh, a dick one. He was. <laughs> Uh, your choice. I'll say no. I'll say no. Okay, it is open to both of you. So buzz in with your name if you think you have the answer. Get Out was nominated for four categories at the Oscars. Name three of them. Three. Ace. Alex. Ace. By a I fraction. What do you got? Yeah. Original screenplay. Gotcha. Best picture. Uh huh. Um, best actor Daniel Kaluuya. That is correct for five points. It's my movie. And then the, <laughs> the last one was best director for Jordan Peele. I was gonna say that, but I was like, oh, I'm pretty sure he did. But okay, yeah, yeah. I remember Kaluuya. Uh, all right, so it is fifty to twenty at the end of the first round. And uh, Andres, there's a ton of game left. Don't even sweat it. Okay. We've had people come back from larger deficits to win you a said game. So 15 to 20, right? 50 to 20. So oh, he's got 50 a 30, to 20. He's got a 30 point lead right now. It's a lot okay. of game left. Don't you worry. <laughs> got it. Uh, all right. So this second round is the five second round. The way it works is uh, Ace, you'll have choice one through five. And then whenever you make your choice, I will give you a clue. Andy will play the first five seconds. If either of you can guess it in the first five seconds, it's worth 10 points. If we have to go to the second five seconds of music, it's only worth five points. And you only get one guess for each uh, movie in this round. So basically you could wait. Yes. For a while. Okay. But it, it just reduces the value of yes. uh, how much it's worth. So it's 10 points in the first five seconds, five points uh, for a full 10 seconds of music. So, Ace, your choice, since you're in second place, one through five, where would you like to start? Two. Two, it is. Uh, your clue is not just one direction. Not just one direction. Incredible thoughts. Incredible minds, I'm so overwhelmed. How did my brain conceive them? No, just one direction. Both deep in thought, it appears. I have a feeling we might need to go to the second five. Although Alex could be singing it to himself, I'm not sure. Gentlemen, what say you? Are we going to the second five of this? I think so, yeah. I think, yeah, let's yes. do it. Through gritted teeth, they would like to see or hear the second five seconds. Okay. A snow white dove on a pitch black night. A raindrop falls from tremendous heights. A wave crashes off a cliff in Scotland. A child bites an apple, but the core is rotten. <laughs> Alex. Alex. I think it's pop star. Never stop. <laughs> Never stopping? Uh, yeah, I'll give it to you on Pop Star. It's fine. Okay. Five points. Fish. Challenge. No, okay. <laughs> yeah, challenge. What that the... doesn't exist on this show. Yeah, exactly. Um, what is, right. What's the full title of that? I think it is Incredible. Never Stop, Never Stop. Oh, never stop. Okay, never okay. Stop. I think it is. Uh, but it's so nice. ridiculous that, you know, who cares? All right, Alex, you got that for five points. The score is now 55 to 20. And Alex, you have choice one, three, four, or five. Where are we going? Let's go with one. One Ooh, it no. is. Your context clue for this is hashtag totes absorbs. 
totes absorbs. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't much, but uh, your clue again is totes absorbs. I think I might need the more five. What about you, Ace? Second. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that too. All right, second cool. five it is. Absorbent and yellow and porous is he. Uh, Alex. Alex. Uh, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. <laughs> correct. <laughs> yeah. For five points. <laughs> it's like, what is the name of that little fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is not what I was thinking. <laughs> what were you thinking? Not, not a, a kid's movie. <laughs> But you guys uh, didn't grow up with SpongeBob. That was the assumption of it was. <laughs> you were maybe on the tail end, but you still watched yeah. it. I, I remembered it. Yeah, I definitely didn't grow up watching it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, that was us assuming you were a little bit younger than you are. You guys both both look so young. That's the thing. Great skin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Matt, you picked like, their two favorite movies so far, so uh, we can have a True. we can yeah. have a man. Not bad. Not bad. Um. Yes, book smart and get out equally as good, yep. of course, as we all have established. <laughs> I don't know and about uh, Sp SpongeBob, ironically enough, was my movie of that decade. So you know, <laughs> <laughs> we're hitting on all cylinders right now. Uh, all right, Alex, you got the points on that. So uh, you have choice three, four, or five. Where are we going? Let's go with Cinco, numero right. five. Number five it is. Which of these do you like, Andy? So, full disclosure to the two of you, we write out numerous context clues. So I think for this one, we have eight. Wow. Uh, and it's a matter of uh, finding one that works perfectly. Give us all eight. You want all eight at once? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking H. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like C and H. Go with, go with H. Uh, okay. Your clue for this is cocaine is a hell of a drug. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Hey, I want to shoot, baby. Ace. Ace. Deadpool. That is correct nice. for 10 points. Oh, got points. Yes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and you narrowed the gap. Um, you now have control, Ace. Yes. Nice pull on that. Would you like number three or number four? Let's go number three. All right. Number three it is. Your clue for this is... Have we used B, Andy? Hmm. Oh, I think so, yeah. Okay. I, th I think so. Um, all right, then... Your clue for this is X marks the plot. Yep. X marks the plot. There's a man going round taking names. Ace. Ace. Logan. That is correct for 10 oh. points. Give me those X-Men movies. <laughs> I was saying like pirates or something. <laughs> I was thinking what? that too, like hidden treasures. Like yeah. uh, all right. So it is now 60 to 40 in favor of Alex, but oh Ace, boy. you're creeping okay. back into this. There's one left in this second round. Your clue is signing your life away. Signing your life away. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, I want to see him dancing. Ace. Ace. The Little Mermaid? That is correct. <laughs> nice job. Oh, boy. And I love that song, but Breakdown. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> this is a movie that I did grow up on. <laughs> Could it be? Yeah. We found it eventually, and it is now a 10 point game 60 oh, to boy. 50 in favor of Mr. Marzonia. 
Great second round. Nice. Yeah. Climbed back into this bad boy. Who knew? Uh, all right. So <laughs> here we are into the third round. This is the betting round. So, Alex, you will begin on this one since you are in first place, choosing one through five. I will give a clue. And then, Alex, you will open the bidding and the number of notes that you think you can guess this movie's song in. You're still guessing the movie itself. If you guess in three notes and above, it's worth 10 points. Two notes and above, 15. One note, 20. And if you want to guess just based solely on the context clue, it's worth 25 points. People have done it. <laughs> uh, if you get it wrong, your opponent gets the points. So keep that in mind. Little gamesmanship. If they look like they don't know it, then you can always tell them to settle the score. And finally, you have a lifeline that you can use only once, but you can ask for a second context clue. Uh, so be judicious about where you use that. Um, so once again, Alex, you have choice. One through five, you have a 10-point lead. Where are we going to start this third round? Let's start with number five. Number five it is. Naming the song, right? You're naming the movie. The movie, sorry. You're naming okay. the movie. No worries. Um, which is your favorite of these, Andy? I'd love to do. Sorry, I was, I was just, I just figured out that I can't practice on mute while with with Alex um, watching because he'll, fit, <laughs> he'll oh, be able to read what I'm playing. Read. <laughs> uh, let's see. I like D. Okay. Uh, F, F is good. Yeah, F, G are good. Oh, G, G, I like. Yeah, so D or G, I think. All right. Um, all right, so your clue to open this is a diesel engine. A diesel engine. So, Mr. Marzonia, how many notes would you like to open the bidding with? Three is the minimum. The max is whatever you'd like it to be. Um, I think the most common range that people open is somewhere 10 to 15 notes, but we have had people say a hundred because they just basically want to hear the whole song. <laughs> uh, but three is the minimum. How many would you like to start with? Let's go with seven. Let's go All with right. seven just to start with. Seven. Ace over to you. You can bid six or fewer notes or tell Alex to settle the score. You know what? I'm going to go, I'm going to go Six. All right, Alex, over to you. Five notes or fewer, or tell him to settle the score. Um, sure. Why not? Let's go five. Let's go five. Five. Mm. Ace, over to you. It's heating up. Four or fewer. Tell him to settle the score. Four. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? All right, Alex, wow. over to you. Three or fewer. Tell him to settle the score. Uh, let's do three. Let's go do it. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Oh, cool. All right, hey. I'm out. Settle the score. Right? Settle the score. Yeah. Way to be ace. I, I like this. Gamesmanship on the first one. All right. Three notes, Alex. Once again, you do have a lifeline that you can use uh, only once, but you do have it. And your clue and it's just me guessing, is, right? It is just mm -hmm. you guessing, Alex. A diesel engine is your clue. <laughs> Damn it. This is what I was. It's all right. If he gets it wrong, you get the points. Hey, Alex, you can hear it again if you like. Yeah, let's hear it again one more time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed, Ace, if you know this off three notes. I, I would have known it off one. And I, and I was like kind of upset at myself that I didn't just say one. But It's all right. It's all right. Uh, there's only one thing I can think about right now, and one the one guess I have is Fast Seven, Fast and the Furious Seven slash Furious Seven. Is that so? Fast and the Furious Seven is your guess? Yes, the seventh installment in the Fast Saga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever the whatever you want to call it, that is correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Uh wow, three notes. Nice. You both got yeah, well that. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Um, all right, Alex, you have control then. One through four. Where are we going? Let's go with one. All right. Number one, it is 
Your clue is a bolt to the head. A bolt to the head. So, Alex, you are opening the bidding again. How many notes are we starting with? Let's go with five. Five? All right. Ace, over to you. Four or fewer? Tell him to settle the score. Four. Okay. <laughs> Alex, back to you. Let's, let's settle this. Let's settle this. All right. Ace, he's four. telling you to settle the score on four notes. Once again, it is a bolt to the head. And don't forget, you do have a lifeline that you can use only once, but it is available to you. And this is Ace, guys. Yes. Four okay. notes. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to hear it again? Yes. Can I do that? Yes. Uh -huh. that'd be great. Yeah. Sure. Um, I can lose points, right? If I guess nope. wrong. Nope. Well, the points would go to Alex, technically. You won't lose any points, but he'll gain the 10 points because you got it wrong. Got it. Got if it. you get it wrong. Yes. <laughs> Man. Um, and, and you have your bonus clue if you need it that you can use one time. Yes. Yes, I'll, I'll use it now. Why not? All right. Your bonus clue is they see me rowling. They see me rowling. And a bolt to the head. They see me rowling. I'm just going to take a guess. I mean, is it it? That is incorrect. Oh. That is incorrect. Points go to Alex. Alex, you know what it is? Harry Potter? Which theme? It's the, the um, Wondrous World theme. Ah. Right, so the 10 points go to Alex. Uh, Mr. Marzonia, you have a 30-point lead as of right now, 80 to 50. Ace, you can still win this game. It is entirely possible. There are three questions left. Alex, two, three, or four, where are we going? Let's go with two. All Number right. two. Number two it is. Oh, I just realized where I know that Wondrous World theme from other than the movies, which I haven't seen that often, but I recognized this straight away when I had to learn it. And it's, if you've played Lego Harry Potter, this is on loop. Anytime you're in like <laughs> the home base, oh. like in the default menu. <laughs> yeah, that's why I learned it so easily. Uh -huh. Got it. Sorry, sorry. My, <laughs> my brain just woke up. <laughs> little peek behind the curtain right there. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so you chose number two. Your clue for this is in the closet. In the closet. So, Alex, you're opening the bidding. How many notes are we starting with? Three is the minimum. In the closet. So it's not in the heights. Uh, so let's go with <laughs> four. Let's start. Let's start with four. Four. All right. Yeah. We're feeling nice. Wow. All right. Thanks <laughs> over to you. Challenge me. Uh, I'll go three. Why not? Okay. Alex, over to you. Two notes or fewer. Tell them to settle the score. Let's settle. <laughs> settle all right. I'll You're like, I'm going to take three points. I keep getting them. <laughs> uh, all right. Once again, it is in the closet, and you have three notes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> What's well, Ace? You told it's, Ace to settle this, so Ace is guessing. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I'm guessing, but I feel like you're already <laughs> <laughs> uh, Can I, I hear it again? Sure. Yeah. sure. Man, I think we're going too low on these notes, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you know that anybody's right. consistently started so low. I like it. The gamesmanship. 
Um, is it Bohemian Rhapsody? That, that is incorrect. That is okay. incorrect. The points go to Alex. Is that, a clue? is that the clue or the music that you went there? <laughs> the music? Oh, uh, you're looking, you're going, uh, I feel a little silly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> my bad <laughs> that's great that's yeah, great yeah try to to get there uh. Well, Line witch in the wardrobe. No. <laughs> I mean, Alex, you got the points, but let's see if I do. So uh, I'll give you another clue on this one. We scare because we care. Oh, Monsters Inc. Oh. That is correct. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Dang. Um, all right. So there are two questions left. Alex is up by 40 points right now. Ace, it is entirely possible to come back. It is an entirely, it is entirely possible to win. Um, you need to bid down to one note or zero on potentially both of these, depending on how it goes. <laughs> uh, all right, but Alex, you are choosing. Do you have numbers three or four? So where are we starting? Let's go with four first. Four. All right. Four it is. Your clue is... History comes alive. History comes alive. So, Alex, you're opening the bidding. How many notes would you like to start with? History comes alive. Let's go with. Let's, let's start with four. I want to. Let's give. Let's give Ace a little chance to. Okay. Redeem himself. Let's do this. So, Ace, you need forty points over the next two questions. So you're going to need to bid down to one note or zero on basically both of these. Let's do it. All right. Well, what do you want to do? If you, do, you can do one over the next two or zero this time and two next time. Like you have options. I'll, I'll do one now. How about that? Okay. He's bid down to one. Now, Alex, you have the choice. You can go down to zero or you can tell him to settle the score. You can settle it. Go ahead. <laughs> what, a, what a magnanimous gesture by Alex. All right. One note, Ace, your clue again is history comes alive. Here's your one note. <laughs> this is so hard. <laughs> I'm pulling for you. Oh, I didn't hear it. No, you're on mute, Andy. Oh, I apologize. I apologize. I easily said three of my best jokes whilst I was on mute. Right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish you had another lifeline, but you don't. I, no, I'm, cool. I'm gonna get this. Watch me. Uh, can I hear that again? <laughs> <laughs> you can. Here we go. <laughs> History comes alive. There's there's quite a few ways I can go about it. So yeah. I'm gonna go with the mummy. Okay. That is incorrect. Damn. That is incorrect. It's not bad. It's not a bad guess. Okay, I guess. Andy, you want to play and see if they can guess it? So Alex got the points. I think. Yeah. Is it Jurassic Park? Nope. No. Oh, okay. That would have started here. The mummy would have started here. <laughs> no, joking. <I'm> right. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Pressure's off me now. Whatever that little riff is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll give no. you I mean, the points already went to Alex. It doesn't really matter. 
Uh, I know. I'm just shocked. I can't get it. Uh, Do you know the song? It's a comedy song. It's a comedy movie. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a period movie as well, right? No. I'm still going off the context clue. History comes alive. Okay. I I, I mean, think of it in a very literal sense. History Mm -hmm. coming alive. Night at the Museum. That is that would have been correct, Ace. Damn it. That would have oh. been correct. <laughs> Damn it. Here's That's what you could have won. That was my second guess, man. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, all right. So Alex has the game won yes. at this point. We have one left. So we will still play it. Yes. Um and technically, Ace, you could get twenty five points and narrow the gap. Uh, but play it out however you'd like to. So your final clue is coveting. Thy neighbor, coveting thy neighbor. So, Alex, you got the points on that. How many notes would you like to start with? Start with four. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> you already won. Exactly. You already won. <laughs> Just make fun. it ten. <laughs> Let the four, man play. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go four, baby. Four. All I'm right. Ready to go. Ace, what do you want to do? Three or fewer? Tell him to settle the score. I'm gonna let him settle, man. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, four notes it is. Once again, the clue is coveting thy neighbor. And you do have a lifeline, Alex, if you want to use it. Okay, okay. Uh, I think I'll need another clue on that. All right. First one was coveting thy neighbor. Second one is a rose among the Thora. A rose among the Thora. It's American Beauty. That is American Beauty. That was going to be my guess too. Yeah. Uh, Never seen that movie. (laughs) Never Uh, seen. I would honestly say, don't waste your time. Worth it? No. Okay. Okay. Not anymore. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Definitely not now. Yeah. Uh, uh, I just wanted to start my Kevin Spacey filmography, you know, like watch, <laughs> watch a lot, watch through. I uh, guess I shouldn't then. Uh, well, congratulations to Alex. Yeah. You are Ooh. today's winner, and someone that's apparently four notes is your wheelhouse. <laughs> I didn't flop like the Lakers against the Sun, so I'm just glad about that. Yeah. Yeah. If you could take nothing else, Ace, take the fact that you guys <laughs> finally crushed them this year. Yeah. True. 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 Still, that was that was a pretty one-sided beatdown <laughs> by Alex. No, I, we've had worse. You got the second we've really? had worse. Okay, I'll take it. What's I think you guys, you guys went, you guys took the note so low that the score was either going to go one of two. You know, it was either going to fly one way or the other. So, uh, yeah, yeah. When when people play with fifteen notes, just you're, you're looking at like ten point deficits and stuff. But you guys went for it, so appreciate it. Exactly, at each other's throats at all times. Who knew? Yeah. Who knew? Our most cutthroat of shows (laughs) between two people who are friends. This is nice. (laughs) Uh, It was still, it was a good showing overall. And going into that last round, it was only, what, a 10-point game. So, that I mean, it's the final round was the difference in all of it. And, yeah, like Andy said, you guys opening with four notes so consistently that it really comes down to, you better fucking know this on four notes. So, uh, I am impressed, though. The Fast 7, you both knew it. And Ace, you knew it instantly. Ah, oh, damn it, I know this. But like, son of a gun, that is <laughs> that is amazing. Mm. Should be going with a zero. Should be going with a zero on that, Ace. <laughs> yeah. I was actually, as soon as I heard the clues for the supercharged engine one, I was like, it's going to be Fast 7 because that's the best song to play on the piano. <laughs> <laughs> and then as soon as I heard the uh, <clears throat> History Comes Alive, I was like, all right, Night at the Museum. But then I was like, why would he pick Night at the Museum? <laughs> <laughs> why would and then I was like, Night it's got to be a, a classic like The Mummy. And it was okay. The Mummy. <laughs> but as so, we stated uh, before we yeah. went there, we tried to find things that yeah. you guys would more than likely seen as opposed to, oh, yeah. you haven't seen this great movie from 1942? Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna do that to you. Same uh, with uh, the American Beauty context clue, coveting thy neighbor. I was like American Beauty, and then uh, sure enough, I was like, oh, there it is, American Beauty. But nice. it wasn't mine. So, 
Well, yeah, next know. time, next time I'm on, uh, next time I'm on, I only want fifties movies here. Yeah, <laughs> not there a problem. Yeah. All right, <laughs> I'm making a notation. Uh, anything sent, said in the antebellum South apparently is. <laughs> yeah. Anything uh, Kevin Spacey. Kevin, Kevin Spacey, Spacey yes, yes. yes. <laughs> that classic Can't categories, yes. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Can't wait to find those Kevin Spacey's 1950s movies. That's going to mm. be a treat. Uh, Yikes. Well, yeah, a good showing by both of you. And yeah, uh, yeah we've had people who are uh, basically, you guys are on par with uh, some of our better competitors. So you you knew all of these. By and large, so the score oh, may yeah. have been lopsided, but the actual game itself was not in any way, shape, or form. Um, w- we've had a few people where, "Hey, you got points." <laughs> I'm happy you got some points by the end because <laughs> we were both beginning to feel bad about this. <laughs> uh, but no, it wasn't the case today. You guys definitely knew your stuff. It was just that final round could be a killer sometimes. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but a good showing by both. Yeah, you guys did great. Really enjoyable. Thanks. Thank you, man. Uh, Ace, I would say the key next time might be to try and hydrate a little more. Just a skosh more, you know? Okay. Maybe get one of the hat things that has the two holders for, for cans. Yeah. Yeah. When you, when you say hey, you do, do, gallons of <laughs> two gallon helmet. I, yeah. Do you decant <laughs> do you decant that into a smaller drinkable measure or do you glug? That whole thing. No, 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 no. Alex knows this, right? Like Alex, when you see that me. thing, you lift up. You... In social, it all time, it's, it's social settings. I actually bring it with, me. <laughs> and I'm just like, hey guys, we're sitting there at a yard house, all drinking our beers, and here's Ace with his fucking gallon <laughs> of water. Yeah, all the water. It's a real <laughs> thing. It's the definitely nice thing is, a weird thing, like but I'm trying to, I'm trying to, trying to, trying to beat it, trying to beat it, <laughs> trying to get over it. It's normally reserved for like bodybuilders that just walk around and eat yeah. chicken breasts and drink gallons of water at a yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully it's, it's, though, no one asked for a sip. It's definitely <laughs> it's definitely a strange quirk that I have that I, I, I've been called out a lot on. A lot of people are like, and you wonder why you're single. And I'm like, what are you talking about, man? What are you what are you saying? And I have my gallon of water in a bar. <laughs> I respect it though. I respect. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I like think uh, any woman that is turned off by that wasn't a keeper. You know? <laughs> <laughs> wasn't a keeper. I feel like that's most, but okay. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Yeah. Look, do you want to have glowing, ageless skin? Drink a lot of water, guys. There you go. Drink exactly. a lot of water. Got to stay mm-hmm. hydrated. It's the key to it. Ace, Ace and Alex, you both looked uh, 22 the entire, all these years that I've known you. It's impressive, to say mm-hmm. the least. Mm-hmm. I keep yeah. getting deeper and deeper crow's feet, and you fucks keep staying the same goddamn <laughs> age. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, uh yeah, it's de- it's deceiving. It's deceiving. <laughs> well, I, I apparently need a gallon of water. I'm just drinking a little <laughs> fizzy water, and that's just not enough. Yeah, what I what I uh, shoot my shot against the 35 year old, and they're like, oh, I don't go for 20 year olds. I'm like, I'm not, nah, I'm not 20. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't I don't know many 35 year olds that not say no to a 20 year old, but. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. A lot really? of them th- they, they think I'm a child. They think I'm a I'm a kid, and I'm like I'm not a kid. <laughs> Can a twenty year old do this? <laughs> 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 probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> probably good. Probably. Good. I, I think at that point I would assume they're sixteen. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, somebody's trying to pretend that they're twenty by drinking water. That's not a good sign. <laughs> Yeah. This is vodka. I swear it's vodka. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I swear, dude. It's it's definitely it's always funny seeing people react to it. Uh, yeah, I'll try to get over it. It's a quirk that I have. It's definitely not anything crazy. Much respect. It's staying healthy. Love Thank it. You. That's good. Um, well, gentlemen, our thanks to both of you for joining us today. And it's been too long. Haven't seen you guys in the flesh yeah. in a year and a half or more. So. Uh, it's nice to see that you're both doing well. Yeah. Thank you, yeah, man. And- Appreciate it. Go sons. <laughs> Thank you for Good. having us on. Not a problem. Good luck to your sons Wednesday night. Yes. Pivotal game four. Pivotal game four. Got to take Pivotal it in Milwaukee. Uh, sons in five. Yeah. As Pat Riley says, it's not a series until a home team loses a game. So there you go. If we have to go back to Phoenix and it's tied two to two, then suddenly game five, whoever wins game five, it's like 93% of the time wins the series. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh-huh. we've won. We've won the game fours before, even coming back after losses. So far in the playoffs, at least. So, so. I I just want to add uh, some context for our British listeners that the Phoenix Suns are a basketball team, and Ace isn't so deceptively old that uh, he has sons playing in the NBA. That's not, <laughs> not the case. <laughs> yes. That's a- <laughs> it's a five gallon a day habit if you could pass for as young as he does and have sons yeah. playing in the NBA. But for, for real, uh, I, I I'm sorry about your uh, the Euro man. I saw that the penalties were insane. So tough, tough yeah. loss. Yeah, no, I've, I've uh, you know I guess I'll reveal my age in a way, but yeah, I've been in my lifetime now. England have gone out to heartbreaking penalty shootouts. Um, yeah maybe five or six times. Mm. Um, yeah, so it's tough. It, 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 you know, even the manager of England, Gareth Southgate, um, the last time England did quite successfully in the Euros, 96, um, yeah, uh, uh, he was the one that missed the penalty. And now he's the England manager oh. and had to now you know, put his arm <laughs> around those players and say, you know, I've been there. But they'll come back strong next year, hopefully. Yeah. There just won't, won't be a town to play in because London's burnt to the ground now. So. Oh, yeah, I heard. <laughs> yeah, Boy, yeah that's, that's tough. brutal. <laughs> Tough. That yeah, brutal. Missed the penalty shot. And now coach the team on the precipice of winning the Euro, and they miss a penalty shot. <laughs> I was rooting for you guys, though, for sure. I was definitely rooting oh, for thank you, man. Yeah, I was. I was going for for my home team in the in the Copa America. Uh, yeah, who, who, who do you is who do you is it? Col- I don't Colom- know. Okay. My my oh. family's from Colombia. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So my whole we we've been ever since I was a kid because my my mom is from Colombia and we have family there used to live there um so very very proud soccer family or football family um yeah, cool. watching Colombia every time and get close and lose every time so we got right, third right. place so it's not bad that's not bad yeah it's not bad I think we it, almost, I think almost it was um, yeah. I think it was Messi's Messi's time just before he he hangs the boots up we we lost to Messi so that that's our so yeah. be it you got, you got to be happy for that Nice. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember Colombia versus England. I think it was. Um, I remember uh, that too. France '98, maybe. Um, oh no, I remember that for uh, the. Was it the a uh, couple years ago? Wasn't it for? Uh, was it a qualifying? Match? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for the World Cup or something, and uh, all, all my all my British friends were coming at me, and I was like, "What? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> what did I do?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like, "I love you guys," but yeah, because apparently it was a. It was a really rough match. I remember that match because we were definitely we're feisty. That's what we do. We're feisty. Yeah, we fight. That's what we do. Yeah, it's a completely different style of football. Yeah, yeah, it's a good trade to oh, have. Bye. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, well I'm, uh, I'm got a bit of soccer talk on on this show. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, yeah. yeah. I wish you would to join in. Join in. No, I, no, honestly, so, sometimes I tune in and the guests join and you'll start talking about basketball. And I'm, I'm, I've said to Matt, I feel like the kid in the back of the car, just like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I wish I arbitrarily chose Arsenal as my team just because I like the name and the mm. logo. <laughs> yeah, it's like I, I don't know any of the history of any of these teams. And okay, that one is it just was a, a big cannon. It was an Arsenal player that um, missed the penalty last night. That oh, no, well, well, <laughs> that team is dead to me. <laughs> no, he's a sweetheart. He's only uh he's nineteen, so you know yeah, oh, like he was, yeah, that young kid at the end. Yeah, they're like little yes. kids, yeah. Bro. Yeah, wow. he's he's got a great future. Could have been uh could have been my child. Been my son. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, you got sons of the NBA <laughs> playing the Euro. In the Euro. <laughs> Dude. I'm old enough to have a nineteen year old. <laughs> yeah, apparently this water trick works internationally, so I would continue <laughs> yeah. doing that. Yeah. yeah. My sons and my sons. <laughs> the progeny Cabrera are just yeah. crushing all, all sports. Yep. Um, all right. Well, before we get out of here, um, Ace, is there anything you'd like to uh, promote? Sure. Yeah. Um, obviously, my Twitter at Squad Leader Race, but also my YouTube channel is the main place where you could support me, which is at First Cut. Um, also at First Cut TMO on Twitter on Twitter as well and on social media, which is basically Instagram and YouTube. Uh, so if you type in first cut on YouTube, it should pop up. That's me and RB3 and Sabrina, our little team there talking about movies and reviewing films. So we'll be doing a Black Widow one probably today, later on today. So be on the lookout for that. All right, cool. Uh, well, this is, yeah, 
three days in the future. So go and check out, uh, you know, his review of Black or their three review of Black Widow. And uh, Mr. Marzonia, what do you got? What album is out? What should people be <laughs> listening to? What should we be downloading? Uh, people should be listening to my uh, albums, Liftoff and Descent, which is on my Spotify. And if you don't know how to spell the name, it's right here, Marzonia. And it's down here, too. I have a lot of things in my room to remind <laughs> me who, of, of who I am, just in case it's like a boring situation. But, uh, you know, it's uh, it's all there on Spotify. Go check it out. And, um, yeah, and I'll have Andy uh, do a cover of uh, some Run the Jewels on my on my song sometime soon. <laughs> I'm down. I'm down. I was uh, I was listening to your uh, tracks earlier. Pick it. I was deciding which one to like. You know, learn the chords for and like play play you in. And uh, and Anna, my wife, was um, she was like bopping along a little bit. And then and she goes, "Who's that? Who are you listening to?" And I'm like, "This is uh, Alex. You know, um, he's on he's on the show tonight." And she goes, almost like you know, we've had Mark Ellis on people she knows from the Schmodown and Harloff, and and she goes, he. Is on your show like you like suddenly from from naught to 60 oh. she's like a fan from not you know hadn't heard your music before to now she's a fan to now she can't believe we pulled you on the show <laughs> <laughs> well, all within oh. two minutes <laughs> oh well thank you thank you to you and your wife for listening thank you for everybody who's watching for listening as well and the name of the two item or uh, albums again were lift off and descent lift off and descent and uh, full disclosure, I had written that down. And if there was enough perspiration on my can, I was going to add it to my can. So then we have more <laughs> Marzonia branding just wherever. But uh, <laughs> it's not as hot today. So my can didn't perspire and I nice. couldn't do my stupid joke. Nice. I appreciate uh, that. <laughs> but please go check him out on Spotify and go check out Ace over uh, on YouTube. First cut. And our thanks to both of you. It was great seeing you and great job today. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate you. Great seeing you as well. Um, all right, Andy, what I say we go ahead and close it out here. Uh, once again, the fan show, we're doing the drawing uh, the day after you hear this on Friday the 16th. So if you've left a comment on YouTube, go over there and we will respond to whichever comment of the individual gets chosen. Otherwise, on Twitter, uh, I will respond to you on Twitter and let you know personally. And we will be taping that next week. So good luck to everybody. And uh, get in your retweets and comments before Friday if you want to be part of that drawing. Uh, anything for you, Andy? Uh, no, nothing for me, but the, the, the boys forgot. But, um, you know, they're obviously Schmodown competitors. Um, uh, Andreas is, you know, running towards the final, I think. And then uh, Alex is going to be in the FCL <coughs> debut match, I think. Right, Alex? Yeah, two days ago. Oh, it, it dropped already oh. on Twitch? It'll be tomorrow, but it'll be two days ago. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. So apologies, apologies. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, check them out. I mean, obviously, they know their stuff, so go uh, go check them out. Uh, please I, do. I have nothing to plug. You know, if you need some accounting done, yeah. I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you can follow Alex at Alex Marzonia. You can follow Ace at Squad Leader Ace. Andy at STS underscore Andy M. And me at Matt Nost. That is it for uh, this week's Settle the Score. Uh, thanks to everybody that uh, listened and watched. And we'll see you guys next week with our what, fourth fan show. We're looking forward to meeting two more fans. And we'll see you then. Uh, stay safe out there. Stay six feet apart. Get the vaccine if you can. Let's get through this fucking thing. <laughs> That's it. All right. Yeah. See you guys next week. Adios. <laughs>